All right, y'all, good morning or good night. However, this is definitely my morning. Um, I want to go ahead and do a quick shout out to, hang on, y'all. Let me go to my phone. In my comment section, uh, Marab1440. They suggested, I wish you could check out the interview of Javier Milley on Lex Friedman's podcast. He's an Argentina president that Elon is copying on economics. So shout out to you because you just put me on to Lex Freeman, which when you, you know, told me I should go and check out Javier, Javier, um, who's the president of Argentina, I kind of just, you know, started going through uh, some of the clips on this podcast and it's very very informative information so shout out to you thank you so much that's what it's all about when bringing good content because i would have never known who javier is the president of argentina not only that he shares um him and trump having similar stories um while becoming or being president so it's pretty interesting i hope that this inf- informs y'all i hope that you learn something from this and if you didn't know like myself who Javi is well now you know and that's what it's all about at the end of the day he also explains his um excitement when he um got to meet Sylvester Stallone which is one of the greatest actors in history y'all Rocky and so many other great movies so we're gonna dive into this and then we'll definitely talk um towards the end let's get into it You've spoken with Donald Trump. Allegedly, he called you his favorite president. What did you discuss? And maybe again, what do you admire about President Trump? And uh, what do you learn from him? There are several things that I, I admire about President Trump. The first is that he probably, I think he's provided ample proof of this in his first presidency. He understands the nature of the cultural battle. He has openly confronted socialism. His speeches openly target socialism. He perfectly understands the woke virus. And that that is, uh, you know, of great value because it means understanding what it's all about. Another thing I truly admire about him is his courage. In fact, Thankfully, thank goodness he didn't get assassinated or killed. But it was by a small chance occurrence that could have killed him, just because he moved at the right moment. And yet that didn't intimidate him, and he went on. And in fact, during his first campaign, and in this one as well, in the second one and third one, They criticized him, insulted him, offended him, said awful things about him, made up all sorts of horrible stories about him. In that respect, I can say I deeply relate because probably no one in our history has had such a negative campaign from all the media like they did to me. But let's say they were quite similar. This is why it's so interesting, and I was so deeply moved when last night I also got to meet Sylvester Stallone, you know? Because uh, Sylvester Stallone talks about, well, how important is that? No matter how hard they hit you and keep on hitting you all the time, despite all that, you keep going on and on and on. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is that many of the... uh, Many, so many of Sylvester Stallone's approaches are truly inspirational, don't you think? So imagine I'm about to give the speech and I see Sylvester Stallone and Sylvester Stallone knows me. It was truly insane. I had to pinch myself. I mean, this can't be true. And besides, well, the people were wonderful with me last night. They've been wonderful today. I've taken hundreds of selfies. I mean, it's truly been, I would say, it's been my break, let me say, after almost a year in office and having to face all sorts of media torture because of 
because the journalists who have vested interests and are corrupt are professional torturers. Yes, because they invade your personal life, your family and your privacy. Let me tell you something to show you the kind of garbage the media in Argentina can do. They sent three drones to spy on me at my presidential residence. To spy on me? Do you think that's right? Exactly. But that kind of thing happens in Argentina, not to mention the many lies and horrible things they say. I, for instance, remember that time when my father was hospitalized. My father is a man of a really strong character who has had two heart surgeries, all right? And one day a journalist was saying all sorts of lies about my father. My father was hospitalized and, well, and he almost died of a heart attack. Mm. So that kind of thing is what journalism and the press do in Argentina. So they start to attack your private life, your mother, your father, your sister, even my dogs that I absolutely adore. Aww. They are the most wonderful beings in the universe. They even target my four-legged children. Mm. So imagine that I've been in office for nearly a year a year as president, and since they can't criticize my management except by lying and distorting the numbers, they meddle with all these things, things they have been doing all the time since the year 2021. When I Okay, y'all, so <clears throat> as you can see, this is Javier, the president of Argentina, and we're going to get back into it, but they share similar stories, you know what I'm saying? They going after his private life, his family, his fur babies, like as low as the fur babies and your children. Like, it, it, that's why I say it's a lot of evilness in this world and stuff like that. So I salute these type of presidents from Trump to him now that, you know, now he's on my roster. It's like I know who he is now. And I'm going to start digging more into him as well. But they go through so much, so many lives. Like they put their lives on the line for their people. And this is what makes a great president. And he said he's only been in there for about a year. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to uh, Sylvester Stallone because, y'all, my first time learning that. He's a Republican and he goes hard um, for Trump and many others as well. So this is pretty dope. This uh, Very informative. I like content that is very informative. I like content that we can all learn from. And this is what it's about. Researching getting the information that we need. I would never know who this guy was. And so thank you. I officially entered politics. So, and I've seen what they've done to Trump. So that also makes me relate a lot to him because he's a true warrior. He's truly, he's a Viking. He's a Viking. He's literally a Viking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, he is someone I admire for how he has kept fighting in the face of adversity, even against all odds, and still he managed to win. Amazing. Very. And well, uh, and that's why I can relate that much. And I've also seen how he's been unfairly criticized, like when he was accused of protectionism or when he wanted to discuss some matters within the context of public debate regarding the design of monetary policy as regards the Fed. And uh, basically, they have accused him of things. I mean, isn't he entitled to give an opinion as a president? I mean, any citizen could give their opinion, even more so a president. So very, very informative. Make sure y'all like, subscribe to your boy Lex Freeman, now my boy y'all because very very informative information um i must say i really enjoyed this this and this is just an actual clip so if you want to go see the full um interview with javier make sure y'all go over to lex Fredman if you don't know who he is and subscribe y'all the full clip is up there you can see it right there um very very informative information thank you so much for suggesting that i check him out because I wouldn't have never known that he was the president of Argentina. We wouldn't have never known that he actually admires um, President Trump, Sylvester Stallone, and so many others, you know. So 
again, that's what it's all about. Y'all make sure y'all drop in the comment section what you would like me to react to next. Because that's what it's about, y'all. And then the crazy thing is, this is why a lot of people um, voted for Trump because, like I stated, they're watching. You know what I'm saying? And he said after they tried to assassinate him, instead of him quitting and saying, you know what, I don't want to do this no more, <clears throat> Trump continued to fight. And regardless of people who want to say it or not, you know what I'm saying? That was a connection to the world and so many other other things that Trump has done and has said, you know, and of what we've all been witnessing these last three and a half years. So it's just, you know, everybody wants change. And believe it or not, Trump has a lot of love all over the world, as well as he does haters. We know this, but more love we seen a few weeks ago than hate. So with that being said, y'all, uh, drop in the comment section. What do y'all want me to look at next? Let's find something informative. Let's find something that we can actually learn. Let's find something that we actually don't know. Okay? Let's learn. Thank y'all so much for supporting me. Um, Again, let's talk in the comment section, y'all. Until the next reaction, make sure y'all remain safe. Be safe out there, okay? I'm out.